You might hit the water this summer with family and friends for a swim, but imagine this, trying to swim all 652 miles of the Tennessee River. One man is in the middle of doing just that. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kim Chapman. The swimmer was at the Chattanooga Aquarium today, and that's where James Torres is now. James, who is the swimmer, and why is he doing this? Kim, yep, it sounds a little crazy, but a German uh, scientist says that he's going to spend almost an entire month on the Tennessee River. It's a campaign that he's calling Tennis Swim, and he's hoping that it sheds some light on what he's calling a pretty good cause. Best part about it is it's not the first time that he's done this. Everybody, please give a warm Chattanooga welcome to Dr. Andre. Dr. Andreas Fath is no professional athlete, and yet he's in the middle of a campaign where he will swim the entire Tennessee River, a trek measured at about 652 miles. It's actually my second swim, the first swim I did three years ago. Three years ago, Dr. Fath swam the Rhine River in Europe, which is a similar link to our river. He started this journey last week in Knoxville. So why is he doing this? Dr. Fath says it's to bring light to an important issue. I analyzed the Rhine. River and it was all about uh, making people aware of the impact on uh, water quality. Tonight, Dr. Fath told a crowd at the aquarium about his findings from samples he took at the Rhine River, where he found particles of plastic and pharmacy medicines inside of the water, which was damaging the river's wildlife and drinkability. Some attendees found the presentation fascinating. We all knew that plastics were bad and that we use way too many, but you don't really realize until you hear a presentation like this of how bad it really is. Dr. Fath will be collecting similar samples here to test, but we asked him, how does swimming raise awareness? The scientist admits it's a little sensational, but he says there's a good reason for that. If you write um, a scientific paper, so maybe only the scientists uh, are reading that paper, uh, somebody is such that crazy swim uh, so long distance, so why is he doing that? And then the people are attracted, they come here and then I can distribute the message. Now, Dr. Fath says that he brought that experiment over to Tennessee because a colleague suggested it to him and they realized there were some similarities between the Tennessee River and the Rhine River. He's hoping to finish this trek in Paducah, Kentucky by the end of this month. Reporting live in downtown Chattanooga, James Torres, News Channel 9. All right, James, thank you very much. And Dr. Fath says he takes a break about every 30 minutes to eat and hydrate. You can follow his journey and see his results online. The link to that is on our website, newschannel9.com.